Ladies and gentlemen, it's a sad day. My co-host has quit the show. So to replace him, we have new cap and uh Jim Star. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with a new video, man. Look, can I get a, can I get a see you later, Cap? We got Cap's little brother, man. Uh, this is this is Colin Kaepernick. You know, we had Cap Calloway. He decided that it was just too much capping going on in the community. They were giving him a bad name. And as a result, he just decided to leave. And um, the reason behind that is because your boy Mike Wong is tweeting again. And when I say he tweeting, woo, he been tweeting. So y'all, can we can we give a, can we get a comeback cap down in the uh in the comments if y'all want the old cap back? If y'all like the new cap, you rocking with the new cap? Hey, let me know, man. But look though, also, Gym Star shirts. If you won this week, we're going to send them out tomorrow. Me and Bridget, we're gonna get everybody's information and send send those out tomorrow. So we're gonna let the winners know. Let's get this video to 500 likes. Um, like the video, and if you don't do anything else, let me know what your shirt size is so you have a chance to win one of our shirts that are on our site. Uh, that link is down in the description. But anyway, on to the news, man. Hey, look, your boy Mike Wong has been tweeting. We may actually dedicate this entire episode to what he got. New cap, camera nine. Boom, -hoo -hoo -hoo! okay. Hey, look, man, new cap is new cap. Is doing what he's supposed to do, man. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see how this works, man. But look here. Your boy Mike Wong has been tweeting. I I, I hey, I'm I'm in real Atlanta guy style. I don't give a care about none of this stuff that you talking about up here, my brother. But I will look at this. We're just gonna look through it, see what we got going on. We're gonna pick these tweets apart and then we're gonna find out some stuff, figure out what's going on. The pulse of the community is I and Mike Wong. Anyway. The one tweet that he tweeted that stuck out to me was this one. Are your are your controller settings still reverting back to default or is it okay now? Mike, stop. It's been reverting back since 2K whatever. It never worked. You guys say you try to fix this every year. Every year I have to go into the park, put my thing back on absolute. This year, absolute actually sticks. But what doesn't stick is shot meter being off every single time I, I do anything. I only have to change it once per game session, though. But if I turn the game off, even if I turn it off in the default settings, the shot, it, it still comes back on. I don't know what it is. I don't know why you guys aren't able to fix this. At first, it was, you know, it was absolute. Now, it's this. Still the same. Poor boy seeing fires in, and he also says something. He says... Uh, you know, we already got that. For those who don't know, when you switch your high spots. Okay, so this is something that I found interesting. For those who, for those that don't know, every time you switch to a new park or a server, your hot spots reset all to neutral for the first one to two games, and then after that, second or the third game, the hot spots that you do have will reappear. So be aware of that every time you switch to a new server. Now, this is something that I found interesting because this is what we were saying the other day. It's just like you come in, you play two or three games, you play a couple of games, and then all of a sudden you're missing or you get, dang, I got a cold spot out of nowhere, anything like that, something like that, you know. So it's absolutely true. This is probably why you come in and, and a lot of people always cite that it's one or two games. I came in, I played like the first two games was cool. After that, I started missing. And uh, I guess this is the reason. Because when you come in, you're shooting all neutral. Shooting all neutral has no negative effect, but cold spots have a negative effect. Um, but if you shoot all neutral and you last game that was a neutral spot, and then this next game it's a hot spot, or vice versa, you know maybe it's a cold spot. You were able to hit from that spot last game, but then the next game you couldn't. And it's about the same because when I would join with T Mizzle and I'd take a shot, I'd be like, bro, I can't hit. Like, my shot is just off. We go to the next court, play the second or the third game, I can't miss. And so there's definitely some validity to this. I, I don't know why this is. And it could have been like this all year. It could have always been like this. I don't know. This is just one of those things where, you know, like somebody – actually knows because seeing knows he switches parks a lot and all that good stuff so uh also seeing also tweets can we get a fix for the elite two rep uh rep my style uh rep my style i'm sorry create your own t-shirt when you create a t-shirt and attempt to put it on 
it's a rookie brown tee and not the shirt you created. Could you imagine that, man? You, you grinded all that time got yourself to where you can get there you can get your own t-shirt and when you put it on it's a doodoo brown doodoo brown shirt doodoo brown shirt doodoo brown shirt like could you imagine that i would be hot i guess i'd be like this too the crying jordan meme just sitting down like that because i would be sick if i grinded all that time for a feature in the game and then that feature doesn't even work like come on man we gotta do better it's just like a lot of people grinding for gym rat they should have called it the Gym Star Badge. But a lot of people grinded for the, I mean, that's what we gonna call it. A lot of people grinded for the Gym Star Badge and they didn't get it. I did, I don't have the Gym Star Badge. If anybody in the world should have the Gym Star Badge, it should be me. But hey, it is what it is. Like I said, man, a lot of stuff to talk about, little, little, little things to talk about. This is the, the ultimate cap of the year, uh, number nine. Unpopular opinion. Are these industry plants that they get to, I mean, the dude named King Things, man, like, I, I'm not even gonna go to the camera. Does he have any other tweets? I don't even wanna look at his other tweets on the video because he might have he might have retweeted some Tiana Trump or something, and uh, it's gonna get me banned from YouTube. Let's see if he got any other tweets. Uh, when did he make his account? Okay, he's not an industry plant. He's been in since 2017. Anyway, um, unpopular opinion. I follow Tiana Trump too, so it is what it is. Anyway, um, Unpopular opinion, but I might be the only one who believes NBA 2K and Baluba, uh, all those guys do not pass jump shots. All these big YouTubers say they get their jump shots patched just to release another jump shot video. Brutal Sim did an awesome video on this yesterday, and uh, he went very in-depth. And uh, yeah, this is all cap. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you why, because we have the data from NBA 2K Lab. Listen, there was a... I work in an industry where I do tech support. Microsoft pushed out a an update the other day and it broke all of my tech scanners. It was the .NET 4.8 update. It broke every single tech scanner that I had under my guise and that's, a, that's over 150 tech scanners, okay? When Microsoft pushed that out, they didn't push it out saying that it would break all of the check scanners and that I would have to uninstall it. Would I like to? Would I like to use the check scanners? It was get this an unintended result from an intended update. Is that impossible? I work in IT. I deal with this stuff all the time. Anytime you change something on the system, you run the risk of the system not being able to function the way that it was intended, or at least somebody's system. So when you tell me that, thank you. I don't know why people think that that think that patching jumpers is a thing. There's no reason for us to do it, and definitely not. No, we no time for it stop it i'm not saying that you're patching the jump shots but if you're saying that you're not patching them i'm telling you that something that you're doing is yielding an unintended result now if you want to act like the pot you can act like the possibility of you guys patching jump shots doesn't exist that's fine but to insult my intelligence by telling us that the possibility doesn't even exist of you guys doing something that yields an, un an unintended result? Are you serious? Like I said, I had I had maybe 100 tickets on the help desk. It's shot to 140, 150, almost 300. That's all I've been doing all week is fixing check scanners. It's, it's crazy because when, I, when Microsoft puts something out, sometimes it gives you an unintended result. It is what it is. It's unavoidable. So let's just say that we didn't do it actively but it may have happened passively because it did happen. NBA 2K lab tested the jump shots, man. And the, and the green windows might've stayed the same, but what changed is the actual timing of the jump shot. The jump shot speeds are still the same. The green windows are still the same, but they moved. Like one of my jump shots was like my green window. It was like my jump shot was uh 600 milliseconds and the green window was somewhere was somewhere in there. Let's say it was a, it was like 600 milliseconds. Now it's like 613 milliseconds. It changed. They tested it. 
the green window move, my guy. It is what it is. Like I said, what you did may have yielded an unintended result, but hey, if you say you're not actively patching them, you may not be actively patching them. Hey, look, OG Grandmaster Sensei says, I believe you, Michael. Hey, it is what it is. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that they're actively patching jump shots? I, I'm inclined to believe them if they say they're not actively patching them. But to think that we're just saying that these jump shots are broken because we want to put out a new jump shot video for me to get like 5,000 views, are you serious? I want to, I would much rather use my same jump shot and tell you that it's still working and, and put up videos of me putting up 17 points a game, but it is what it is, man. I'm not gonna sit here. My intelligence can't be insulted. And Mike also says, latency will be the main reason your shot might feel different from one day to the next. Also, if frame rate is better or worse for whatever reason, that can impact your shot timing as well. I could believe that because frame, we already know frame rate affects it because I have a, a, a uh, I used to have a regular TV that I used to play off of and then I got this one millisecond response time monitor that I play off of and it definitely changed my jump shot, but I could see it better. But latency, no, nah, that's not, that's, that, no. That's not gonna be one of those things. That's one of Age's favorite buzzwords, but we don't got no latency here, baby. Now, it it's definitely doesn't fluctuate. I got a dedicated fiber line to my house, all right? Or shared fiber, whatever. That latency don't fluctuate. I can ping everything. I got a thousand up and a thousand down, and my ping is rock solid no matter what I ping. Now, latency of, of your servers, which has been abysmal lately, yeah, that might be the case, but but it ain't on our end. So what you're telling us is because our service trash, you're probably going to have to adjust your jump shot every day. Got it, Michael. It is what it is. Hey, next, we got um, Mr. November says, I know you're busy, guy, but can you please address vacuum screens? No reason that once I'm past the screen, I get sucked back into it with Hall of Fame pick dodger and fold behind, I mean, and fold off ball pest. Please, we'll look into it. Bro, we've been talking about this system again and I got off ball pest. Off ball pest will, act, I did a video on this. Off ball pest will actually suck you into the screen because you interact with people that don't have the ball better. So if you're not careful and you got off ball, uh, go, he meant go off ball pest. If you have go, if you have off ball pest, especially go, are you serious? If you got go off ball pest and you're moving past the screen and you touch anything, you will interact with the person. But Mike says we'll look into it. They ain't gonna, I mean, they'll look into it and act like they change it. But bro, that never gets changed. You always get so. My problem is not when I run into a screen and it's on this side. My problem is when the defender is over here and the screener is here. So the screen is on my left. The defender's on my right and I'm going toward the defender but I still get pulled into the screen. That's my problem. Uh, OG Grandmaster Sensei says, please Mike, this is one of the biggest issues ruining the skill gap. You damn right it is because all you gotta do is come up there, whip it behind your back, and then if he doesn't get hit by the screen, you whip it behind your back again, and if he doesn't get hit by the screen, you Kobe, Kobe, whip it behind your back. He will inevitably get hit by one of those screens, and uh, when that happens, it's over with. If the person is even halfway confident, they're gonna shoot the shot, unless they have latency, and then they might miss it or you know, a bad frame rate right at that time. Now that bad frame rate does happen from here, from, from time to time, I'm not even gonna lie to you, where bad frame rate is when you just drop frames randomly in the park, is when you shoot it and you say it glitched because you couldn't see the release point, that's just a bad frame rate. But it is what it is. Let's just see what else Michael is talking about yesterday. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I, I mean, I really don't, me thank you. I know people, we, are, we already went with that. Was this, was, this, was this what he was talking about with the passing of jumpers? Yeah, we already saw that. Like I said, man, I, I've got that. Um, we, we understand that they may not be actively passing the jump shot. That don't mean the system ain't doing it. Something is happening. Let me know if you think that's capped down in the comments. Put that cap and put your shirt size so you can win one of these gym star shirts. Uh, let me see. Uh, here we go. I'm pretty sure this is somebody asking about John Slayer. How many inches taller does someone have to be than you for John Slayer to come into effect? It starts at one inch, but you get the full effect of the badge at six inches or more. 
So that lets you know right there, guys. Six inches or more. If you're a six, and most guards are six five. Most most centers are like what seven foot, seven two, seven three. That's why if you're a seven three center, it doesn't even matter. It's like I can't stop anybody in the paint. There's your answer. This is why paint defense is so trash. Six inches or more. I might as well make myself a six four guard and just get busy. I know I'm, I'm gonna be able to just go. I'm just gonna put um John Slayer on. Put, put, put John Slayer on uh, Infinity and just go in there and just and just crush our own dog on Giants. They already can't move. I'm going to be faster than them. I'm going to get to the rip, bro. That's Why is John Slayer even a badge? Like, it shouldn't kick in every time, should it? I don't feel like it should kick in every time, but, hey, it is what it is. Um, So he said that. Uh, Here we go. Let me see, Baluba. Yeah, we got that right. That, that was one more tweet in here that I wanted to... Uh, yeah, here we go. The first tweet, it says, Mike, are you guys working on 2K21? You've been inactive. And he says, we're working on both 20 and 21. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. To that, I can only say... Oh, uh, to quote Spice Adams, the great Spice Adams, whom we do not deserve. This is the only thing that I can say to that. One second, guys. <laughs> oh boy, y'all ready? Let me let me stop this epidemic sound right quick because I need y'all to get the full effect of we're working on both of them. And here we are. What do you say? Hey, Chet, what do you say? Hey, I'm walking in the house, right? He said, What do you say? What do you say? Hey, Chet, what do you say? Hey, I'm walking in the house, right? He said, What do you say? That's all I can say to that. Like, like, what else do you want me to do? I can't. I can't even express my feelings any other way. Look, man, it is, it is it is blatantly obvious that what they're working on now is is 2K21. And we're, we're left with the scraps of this game. It is what it is, man. Do you think that's cap or you think they're really working on both of the games? I don't know. I think they're just fixing whatever issue that, that we randomly find. And uh, they probably got one or two more patches. How many patches do you think we got left? I think we got one or two more patches, and then we're going to be left to our own devices. Do you think they're going to solve the demigod patch by, I mean, issue by then? Do you think they're going to solve the tendencies glitch by then? They haven't solved it in any other 2K, so, hey, it might, be, it might still be here. Hey, look, man, last but not least, we got the difficult shots badge. Uh, breakdown and review from uh, NBA 2K Labs, man. I know I, I wasted a lot of y'all's time this morning. I'm sorry about that, but uh, give me the gym star down in the comments if you, if you still like the video, if you're still here with me and your shirt size so you get a chance to win. Uh, look, this is what they said right here. Moving shots, you get a plus one if you got difficult shots. NBA 2K Lab did a great video on it. Moving shots, plus one at bronze, plus two at, at uh, silver, plus three at gold, plus four at um, at at uh, platinum look we don't even know how it even works though like that's the thing they were like really they were saying that uh if you if you want to use the difficult shots badge use it but it really doesn't make a whole lot of a difference but if you really want to to do your thing use the move that pacers game and said just flick to the ball hand and pull or really um Use difficult shots with like corner specialists and range extender and all that good stuff. But everybody got those badges on anyway, so it should be good. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see the real video, go check that out on that channel. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak. Hey, if y'all want to know the story of Fresh from the Barbershop, I'll tell y'all that later on, man. A lot of people been asking about that, but I'll tell y'all that later on. I gotta go. Peace.